but uh, you know, I'm always meeting new people, meeting new musicians. You know, mm -hmm. I live in a good, uh, good uh, area where you know, there's lots and lots of creative people, lots of musicians, a lot of people with you know shared interests and, and shared taste in music and stuff like that. So I've tried to put myself in a place where I think the chances. I'm trying to increase my probability of of of, of, of finding those um, those people and having that happen. So. There's like the right side of my brain, the left side of my brain, and then the left side of my brain is, you know, whatever, the more logical or, you know. And that says, you know, hey, you got to get a job. You got you to gotta make a little bit of money and you got to do this. And then there's the right side of my brain that just like keeps tugging at it and saying like, you know, don't, don't, don't fucking sell out, man. You got to keep the dream alive. You got to keep doing that. It's not to say that you can't like, you know, do both at the same time, but sometimes... I sit there and say, hey, am I a real fucking artist? Because if I'm a real fucking artist, what the hell am I doing, like, you know, working in a bank? What the hell am I doing, you know? You're probably like, why do I not, like, put myself 100% passionately into that pursuit? And then the left side of my brain says, well, you can't do that because, now, you know, how are you going to live? And then I say, well, I don't know. If you're so fucking smart, left side of my brain, how do you, why can't you figure out a way that all these other artists are doing that same thing right now where they are maybe don't have a whole lot of money, which quite frankly, money isn't really that important. It's more like fear. I'm just worried about like being homeless, you know? I mean, it's not about, because I certainly don't make enough money to be like saying that that's an important thing for me because I don't make much. But, uh, you know, a side of me is just like, you know, I really don't care about any of that though. You know, I just want to be creative. I just want to, you know, make music. And, you know, I can't really reconcile those two two parts of my <laughs> uh, of my brain but so I guess you know sometimes you know now that I'm talking about it a lot mm -hmm. it's it's like I'm realizing that you know maybe that part of me is still much more alive than I than I realize sometimes and I don't want to ever say that uh, that something you know really awesome down the road can still happen but then what is the goal what is the what there is <laughs> what's the ultimate place that I want to get to is it selling an album is it being in a band that's touring I've known you know one of our one of our best friends that we you know uh, is, is down in Tennessee right now I mean he's, he's done that I mean he's been in a band and he's, he's played shows and he's toured a little bit and I know you know one of my friends um, is actually a drummer in like a quasi metal band out in uh, Oakland and you know I mean he's the same thing you know he tours a little bit plays shows and comes out with an album with his band um, every couple of years. And, um, you know, I mean, that's where it's at. You know, he's not selling millions of records. He's not doing it as a full-time job. He still has to do other things to, to, to support himself. And, I mean, is that what the goal is? I don't know. I mean, could I be happy just doing that? Um, are those guys happy just doing that? From those two examples, I look at it and I say, well, no, not, not quite. I, I, you know, those guys are great and they're cool guys. And um, I think making music made them happy, but it wasn't quite there yet. It, it hasn't been realized yet. The dream hasn't been realized. Um, so I think there is a goal, essentially, that you're, you're looking to get at. And that goal is, for me, just keeping it simple and just really boiling it down, the goal is to be doing that just as your life, you know, you don't, you can cut out all that like day job bullshit, you know, and then you're like, this is what I want to do. This is, I'm, I'm creating stuff. I'm making great art that others appreciate that can support me, that I respect myself. And that's all I need to do. And I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever get there. <coughs> Hope so. You said earlier that, uh, you know, ingestion, ingestion of chemicals, you know, inspires some of the, uh, your favorite musicians. Um, has such experience occurred to you in terms of like going, be, you know, infusing this left brain, right brain thing, or just uh, creating some kind of burst of creativity uh, in your own musical or whatever artistic expression? Yeah. Um, well, I think uh, on. Yeah. Uh, I thought about that. You know, I mean, sometimes, you know, drugs. I don't know if it's kind of pushing, pushing that left brain aside. If you want to like split it up for just simplicity's sake, um, is it kind of like you know shoving the left brain aside and just saying, okay, 
or forget about you for a while, You're just dealing with this side, you know. Um, and that's that's fine because you know some people are just naturally like that, you know. And um, those are the people where I think you know maybe sometimes they don't need um, uh, you know drugs as much because they're already almost there, you know, um, because that's where you're trying to get to, to be. And, uh, you know, not all, it, it, it's, it doesn't always work either. You know, that's, that's the other thing too. I mean, it doesn't necessarily always just magically happen where, you know, you, you know, have a couple of drinks, have a couple of tokes, you know, uh, take a couple of mushrooms or whatever, you know, and all of a sudden, bam, it's there, you know, and a lot of times where, you know, we've, me and my buddies have done, you know, different, you know, things, and then, you know, it's it's basically three hours of wasted time. You know, there's not a lot of a lot of anything worthwhile comes out of it. So, um, but I don't know. I just uh, on a personal level, and I don't know if everybody's like this, but I, I just uh, you you really hear. You, you hear things differently, you know? I mean, you really, I don't know, maybe it's just because everything sounds better <laughs> and you're more balls out and you just don't care, you don't have those inhibitions. Um, maybe that's partly it, but you know, you're know, you more willing to experiment and, and try something that maybe on a more straight level would seem like you know, a waste of time. And uh, I don't know, it just, it, it just does something sometimes that's it's it's alchemy. I don't know. Um, just listening to good good music. I mean, it changes the whole perception of it. You hear things that are. I mean, it's not it's not hallucinating because anybody who's you know used hallucinogens versus cannabis knows that you don't really you don't hallucinate on on, on marijuana. Um, but you perceive things um, much as at least with music on a much more detailed level. At least personally, I mean, there's certain things that I would never hear uh, unless I was, you know, under the influence and then, you know, you know, smoke a little bit and then all of a sudden I'm hearing 10, 20 different tracks on, on a given song, you know, and you can isolate them, you know, it's like, you know, they say that it, it jumbles your mind and it turns you into this. No, it's, it's quite the opposite, actually. It actually turns it, my brain into like this, like, producers, engineers, like, you know, like, um, you know, a sound, sound dampening device or something, you know, a sound isolating device where it's like, oh, I can hear the guitar track and I can hear the tambourine track and I can hear all that. And then it's like, okay, I can start to see now how this all comes together on so many different levels and appreciate it so much more. And even, you know, even on a lyrical, on a lyrical level and stuff like that, it, it can open you know, whole new, whole new avenues for you to understanding what, what the artist was trying to portray because not to, not to, well, not to get too stonerish here on you, but I mean, like if the artist was under the influence of, of, of an, of a substance when they were making the music, then if you yourself are doing that as well, then maybe you can actually connect with them um, on a deeper level than you would because it's meant to be, um, uh, experience that way and there you're finally finding um, communion with with the Creator um, when when you are under the influence thank you John Little the future drummer troubadour on the steps of the bank r rhythmically producing a motherfucking beat <laughs> this land is my this man this land, this bank is my bank and this bank is your <laughs> bank from California to put in bed. <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. Thanks, buddy.